it goes right in between these two points. Now, a parabola can either be like this, like an upside down U, or just a U. Now, we need to figure that out, and we need to figure out the vertex. The vertex is basically the highest point of the parabola or the lowest point of the parabola. Assalamu alaikum, dear viewers. Inshallah, today I will show you parabolas, vertex, and line of symmetry. But before explaining them to you by definition, I want to give you a practical example or practical equation that will actually make you understand what these three things are. So let's say, just example, my equation is y is equals to half um, x minus 6 x plus 2. This is just an example, all right? So this is going to be my equation. Now, you will understand that this is a parabola when you see a second degree term. And by a second degree term, I mean this. This, x squared, is a second degree term because it has a second degree to the power of 2. So, whenever you see a second degree term in the equation, you will obviously understand that this is a parabola. And if we actually do it, then there will be a second degree term in this equation. So that is when we obviously know that this equation is going to be a parabola. All right. Now, we, in a parabola, there are usually one or more x-intercepts. Now, we want to figure out those x-intercepts. So what we will do is, usually in the x-intercept, obviously the y is going to be zero. So that's why when we have to figure out our x-intercept, we're going to put zero is equals to half x minus 6 x plus 2. From this, you can understand that these three terms are actually multiplied. And a result of a multiplication equation will only be zero when either of them or two of them or three of them will be zero. Now, half obviously cannot be zero because half is half. Half has no other value. So it's either x plus x minus six or x plus two because the x could be any value. So we're going to leave the half alone. And if x minus six is zero, just if, if right? If x minus six is zero, then obviously x will be six. And if x plus two is zero, then our x is minus two. So from here, you can understand that these are my two x-intercepts. So now let me show you the, 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 the these two coordinates plotted on the graph. So this. So here, obviously, um, x is six, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six. This is going to be my six. And we need minus 2, minus 1, minus 2. This is my minus 2. Hopefully you can see. Um, in these two points, my coordinates are minus 2, 0. This is this one. And my other coordinate is 6, 0. This is this one. So these are my two coordinates. Now we're going to figure out the midpoint or the line that goes in between this. Right? The midpoint. And that is my line of symmetry. All right, so how do we figure that out? What we're going to do is, let me just uh, erase this. Let me leave the equation alone. Okay, so what we're going to do is um, here, we're going to do minus 2 plus 6. Now, why? Because minus 2 is one of my x coordinates. It's my x coordinates. One of my x coordinates. And my 6 is one of my other x coordinates. So, we have to add these two together. Then, whatever that comes, we're going to divide that answer by 2. So, this is what we're going to do. By 2, it's always. Okay, so what we're going to do is minus 2 plus 6 is 4 divided by 2 which is two, right? So two is my midpoint. So one, two, this is my midpoint, two. Okay, so I'm just gonna draw that line. 
it goes right in between these two points. Now, a parabola can either be like this, like an upside down U, or just a U. Now, we need to figure that out, and we need to figure out the vertex. The vertex is basically the highest point of the parabola or the lowest point of the parabola. Since we already have our line of symmetry and the x-axis, the x-coordinate for our line of symmetry, we're going to place that in our equation. So let me just use this again. Then our y will, figure, will come out that either it's the high, what's the highest point or the lowest point that will come out. So y is equals to half 2, which is y x-coordinate for the line of symmetry, minus 6, and 2 plus Two. So y is equals to half, this is minus 4, and this is 4. So obviously it's going to be y is equals to minus 16 over 2. So y is equals to minus 8. So our y is minus 8. Now we're going to plot this right here. Now, <clears throat> y is minus 8 for when our x value is 2, which is our line of symmetries, x. Uh, x. So, minus 8 is going to be minus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, so this is our minus 8 is going to be here. This is going to be, um, this point's value is 2 minus 8. Okay, so our parabola is going to look somewhat like this now obviously it's not a perfect drawing because this is hand drawn but it's going to look somewhat like in like a u right so this is how our is going to look and our line of symmetry is going to go right through this so if we extend our line of symmetry it's going to be like this it's going to go right through this and if we flip it over it's going to be the same so that's our line of symmetry now hopefully you can somewhat understand what a parabola vertex and line of symmetry is and how to figure those out based on just this simple equation. Thank you, Rasulam.